Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Strawberry Ice Show. I'm the one and only Strawberry Ice. Kind of looking like Vanilla Ice right now with my mullet. <laughs> I figured I'd explain it before you guys go, what do they do with this hair? This is in support of the University of Cincinnati hockey team. They all decided to get mullets, so I decided to support them and bring it back. Bring it back 1989. Look good. Anyway, that's what the hair is for. Now, big week for Bearcats Nation. The basketball team is in the tournament. Hockey teams in the tournament all this week. But my show, start off with hockey. All right, the Bearcat hockey team is taking off on Wednesday, heading down to Frisco, Texas. They got a flight or they got a practice Thursday. Then their game is Friday, one o'clock Central Time versus Linwood. You can follow this uh, the live stream on Twitter at UC Ice Hockey. Uh, they are in Pool D. It's also going to be. I'll put it on. My Facebook page, Sports Strawberry Ice. My Twitter, Sports Strawberry Ice. And then if you're on uh, Bearcat Country, which is a Facebook page, we should discuss all things Bearcats. We have a fun time on there during the games. Um, check it out on there, and I will post the link there. So if you're watching me right now, and you know it comes to Friday, like, you know, where, where can I find the, the, the hockey team feed? Go back to YouTube, look at my show. I'm telling you right now where you can find it, okay? There you go. Now, I'm trying to start this. Hashtag Clifton to Columbus. We're taking Clifton to Columbus. University of Cincinnati is a seven seed. They are in Columbus versus Iowa at 12:15 on Friday. So, if you see basketball team and the hockey team play right around the same time, I said, if you're going to Columbus, go. I want that arena filled with Bearcats. But, you also have your phone watching it, the hockey team live stream on the phone. So we keep updating. Got it? All right, now, I'm gonna get a little discussion here about, I love it that we're going to Columbus. I don't like a seven seed. To me, that tells me that the selection committee did not pay attention to the last two tournament final games on Sunday, which is the Big Ten and the American. Houston is a three seed, which I really don't have a problem with that. I mean, they've been one of the best teams in the country. I, my problem is more with Cincinnati. We're, we were a seven seed pretty much no matter what we did. I think we should have been at least a six. We could have been up to at least a five. But I think McCormick has complained so much about getting sent out west as many times as we have. So we got the lower seed, but we're in Columbus. So I'll take it. We're in Columbus. We got Virginia, who I think is one of the weakest number one seeds overall. I think the Bearcats can beat them. Now, we got a ways to go before we get to that. We got to beat Iowa first and to potentially beat Tennessee. The way they played Sunday, we got a chance to beat them. Now, the problem is they had to play like that on, on, on Friday. They had to keep that up because they played awesome. I mean, Justin Jennifer on Friday, I think it was, was unbelievable. That's the best shooting I've ever seen him do. Now, I know he's got, like, the best three-point percentage in the nation. It's one of the best. Like, he doesn't shoot it that much. But he shot it a lot, and actually, it was going down. Um, Sunday, actually, Kane Groom was hitting shot. Cumberland was a beast Sunday. Uh, he was on fire. I mean, he couldn't miss. So, we, I mean, he does do that a lot, but we can't, we can't expect him to do that. You know, we can't rely on him to do that. I'll say that. The way Brooks and Trey Scott played. Brooks, I'm telling you what, his game is coming along big time. He's got to stay out of foul trouble. He stays out of foul trouble. He's got some really good offensive moves down low. They need to give him the ball. So, I'm very excited. Well, last week I'm kind of like, well, I don't, we might not even get out of the first round the way we ended the season, the regular season. Tournament, totally different. So, I guess the tryouts work for me. <laughs> he must have got some new players. I don't know. Something happened. They played great. So, hockey team Friday and the basketball team Friday. One's at 1 o'clock Central Time. That's the hockey team. Basketball team 12-15 Eastern. Watch one. Live stream the other one. Support the book. Oh, yeah. One other thing I'm going to give to you. UC's hockey team. They said they are leaving Wednesday. They are almost to their goal uh, for the money that they need to pay for it. Going to this. Now, like I said, they have to pay for it. They gotta pay for the flight. They gotta pay for the hotel room. They gotta pay for the food. They have to pay for most of their equipment. 
Well, actually, they had to pay for all their equipment. So, any money you can give to donate would help out greatly. It's on Sports Strawberry Ice Facebook page. It's a GoFundMe thing. Go to University of Cincinnati Ice Hockey Club. It's on there, on Facebook. You can find it. It's on the Twitter. Find the page. Find the GoFundMe page. Give them five bucks. Give them ten bucks. Give them twenty bucks. Give them a hundred dollars. Whatever. You know. Give whatever you can give to help the boys out. Like I said, biggest thing that's ever happened to this uh, the club team ever. They've never been there, and it costs a lot of money to get there. So please help out. Don't worry, Kentucky fans. I ain't forgot about you. I ain't over Kentucky. I know you guys are in the tournament too. <clears throat> UK is a number two seed versus 15 seed ACU. Never heard of them. But when you're a two seed, you get to play a team that you never heard of. So that game is Thursday, 7 10. For sure, UK is going to win. But I've said that before and they've lost. We'll see. And KU, the 14 seed versus Texas Tech, which is number three seed. Good luck, NKU. I'll be rooting for you. I hope you win. But Texas Tech is no joke. They are a really good, legitimate team in the Big 12. So, Thursday, 10 o'clock, uh, Kentucky. Friday, 1.30, NKU. So, first game we can watch as a local tri-state area for our fan bases is UK on Thursday. Check them all out. The only bad thing is Friday, you got NKU and UC and the hockey team all playing at the same time. I say watch the hockey team and the basketball team. Sorry. I'm a Bearcat fan. I'm a supporter. All right, that brings me to the best thing in sports I saw over the weekend. Same thing I'm going to be talking about the whole show. Bearcats. They played unbelievable. That's the best I've seen them play. When they beat Houston yesterday, I mean, they, they beat them. It wasn't. They, Houston wasn't. Second half, Houston was never in the game. The way they, I, and I wasn't that confident we were going to win because it's a beat I was with my buddy watching the game. And I was telling him, I was like, I don't know if we'll win or not because we played in Houston, we, we played them in Houston, we played better. They still pulled ahead. When we played them in Cincinnati, we played them like crap and they beat us pretty handily. So I wasn't that confident. But the way they played, shoot, if they play like that, they could beat almost anybody. So, that's the best thing I saw in sports this weekend. Lots of sports, mostly basketball. But like I said, don't forget about the hockey team. Support them. They got at least three games this, this weekend. This coming they play Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think, I think if they got to win, I think they'll lose one, I think. And it comes out of points, maybe two. I don't exactly know how it works. Hopefully they win all three and they just keep moving on. Don't have to worry about it. So support them. The GoFundMe page. Check it out. It's a very exciting time. Like, subscribe, share. Tell all your friends about me. That's your sports, baby. See ya.